everyone, welcome back to the Fabrication Shop. As we continue on with our Olympus build, our next stage of the process is going to be to apply primer to our rocket parts. Uh, that will include the body tube, the nose cone, and the payload adapter. And we've got everything on our workbench that we need to do this part of the process. We have our two-in-one filler and sandable primer, some blue painter's tape. We do have the pieces to our model rocket, and we have a long dowel that has an engine, engine adapter on the end, and that's what we'll use to hold the model while we paint it. So with all that, let's get started. So before we begin applying paint, we want to make sure that these surfaces here on both the nose cone and on the payload adapter do not get paint on them. So to help with that, we're going to use our painter's tape. We'll simply peel off a section of tape. What I recommend is that you come down slightly below the ridge. This will let a little bit of paint get onto the shoulder of the nose cone. And the reason I say do that is so that when we do the final painting, there'll be a little bit of color there. So if the nose cone isn't sitting perfectly all the way down inside the body tube or inside the payload tube, you won't get that white band. You'll see the same color as the nose cone, just that little bit right there. The other thing you'll notice that I did was I made a little tab by folding over the tape and this will help me remove this tape once we do the painting. And we'll do the same thing with our payload adapter. And you'll notice I did the same thing with the adapter that I did with the nose cone. Left just a little bit that the paint will go on to. And I got a bit of wider tape here to use on the bottom section. It's the same basic idea. Now you'll see we've got a little bit of this left exposed, so we'll just take another little piece of tape and put it on there. And now our nose cone and our payload adapter are ready for primer. On our body tube, what we want to make sure we cover is this threaded adapter back here that's going to hold the motor mount 
retaining ring. So again, we'll simply use our, our painter's tape and we'll cover up these threads. Now we're going to leave the end open because that's where we're going to attach our dowel that's going to allow us to hold this rocket while we paint it. At the other end of the body tube we have this open end where we have our shock cord and our parachute will go in there. Okay, We want to protect this from paint as well but instead of using painters tape what we'll do is we'll simply take one of our rags, loosely crumple it up, and stick it down in there. And this will help protect the inside of the body tube. The last thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and insert our dowel rod that's going to allow us to hold the model while we paint it. This will also help protect the inside of the engine mount. What we have here, and you can see this one's been used quite a bit, simply a piece of dowel and then we've taped one of the yellow engine marking tube guides onto it. And this, open the tape up a little bit, simply fits into there. And with that, we'll take these and we'll go ahead and put the primer on them. So until next time, take care.